Hello, everyone. Happy Friday. Um, our first Friday in May, right? Yeah. Happy Friday. Um, those of you who are celebrating moms or grandmas or aunts or mother figures on Sunday, happy Mother's Day. And I know that uh, many in our community also celebrate Mother's Day on the 10th of May. So happy Mother's Day to all of you. Um, thanks so much for showering our teachers and our staff with the appreciation and love and just the warmth that is um, key for our Loma Verde community. Um, today's book, which I didn't get to until right now, it's almost five, um, is If You Come to Earth, written by Sophie Blackle, and she is a two-time Caldecott medalist. If You Come to Earth by so Sophie Blackle. Dear visitor, from outer space, because who among us hasn't written a letter to an alien? Dear visitor from outer space, if you come to Earth, here's what you need to know. You can find us near a big sun and a tiny moon and a bunch of other planets. Ours is the greeny blue one. The green and brown bits are land and the blue stuff is, you got it, water. People mostly live on the land in big cities and small towns and tiny villages or just in the middle of nowhere. We live in all kinds of homes. We lost our home in a fire, in a flood, in a war. Yep, sometimes families lose their home. In all kinds of families, there are more than 7 billion people on earth. We all have bodies, but everybody is different. Except for my friends who are identical twins and look the same, uh, except for Mustafa's mole. Almost the same to look right here. Inside our heads, we are usually thinking, you can't see our thoughts, but sometimes we show our feelings on our faces. I see some feelings on these people's faces. Even if we don't feel like it, we get dressed every day. We wear different clothes depending on what we do and where we live and if it's cold or hot. There's lots of different weather in the world. Some of it's good and some of it's bad. And today we had all sorts of weather. We had sun, we had cloudy, we had a little sprinkling of rain. Whenever people live, Wherever people live, we usually have to go someplace else. There are lots of ways to get there. How many ways to get there do you see on this page? I'm a kid and kids go to school to learn stuff. So we'll know what to do when we're grown up. Grown ups do lots of things to make the world work. But when people are not at work or at school or sick or asleep, we get to do whatever we want like on the weekend. Whatever we're doing, we need to eat when we are hungry. Some of us have more food than others. We all need food and water to survive. We get water from the rain, which flows into little streams and big rivers and all the way to the sea. You can't drink the sea because it's too salty. The sea looks empty. Is it empty? But actually it's full. Fish can swim, but they can't walk. Most animals can walk or swim or gallop or hop, but they can't fly. Because I can fly. That. Some birds can swim and walk and fly. So if I had to choose, I'd be a bird. Look at what the penguin's saying. I can't fly. Birds can sing, so can whales. And people. People make all kinds of music and all together. Oh, on our own and all together. Oh, it's a tricky book, I gotta find the words. Some of us who are deaf talk with our hands and faces. Some of us who are blind read with our fingers. See some sign language, some braille. If we are blind, we can imagine colors as shapes and sounds. These are the colors you need to paint everything in the world. That'd be cool to have those colors. Some things are part of nature and some things are made by people. Some things are big. Some are 
small. Some things are invisible, wind, invisible cloak, ghosts, gravity, electricity, sound waves, germs, the smell of roast chicken, old socks, frangipani, wet wool. Oh yeah, those are all invisible things. Some germs can make you sick. So, so can eating a woolly milk cap toadstool or breathing in smoke or getting spat on by slow loris. Sometimes people get hurt by accident. That happens. Sometimes we hurt each other. What are they saying? Mom, mom. It's better when we help each other. That is the truth. Babies are not very good at anything. Kids are good at lots of things. Grown-ups can do just about anything until they are really, really old, but by then the babies are grown up and can help. Older people are good at telling stories about the world when they were young. Kids are good at making up stories that haven't happened yet. There are lots of things we don't know. We don't know where we were before we were born or where we go when we die, but right this minute we are here together on this beautiful planet. If you come to Earth, you can stay in my room. Love, Quinn. Well, that is a pretty good descri description of our planet. P.S. How many eyes do you have? Are you small or big? Do you have any pets? When is your birthday? Is it always dark where you are? Are you going to visit us? My friends and I want to know. So there's the book. If you come to Earth. Have a great weekend doing all the things that you love, that you enjoy, and make sure that you are taking care of the ones you, that take care of you on Sunday. All right, have a great weekend. Go Bears.